It's Santa. Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. And I'm not doing an official intro. And I'm, I'm turning my head because I'm walking right by lots of people. <sighs> Here's the deal. I just got back from visiting my mother at rehab. And I have a cold. I started with a sore throat last night. And now my throat is on fire. And I can tell I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. And I'm coughing, and I thought, I'm gonna treat myself to some cough syrup of some kind so that I can just crash tonight. Um, and since I'm here, I do need milk. I was gonna stop at Rogers to get milk, but I'm gonna get it here now. And what was the other thing? Um, 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 maybe some chicken wings? I could maybe do that. Where am I? I'm at the Biddeford Walmart, so I'm not sure where things are. Frozen foods. I guess it would be one of these things. Usually they're not with those. Anyway, I'm gonna look around. I found the wings, but I decided against them. It almost made me sick to my stomach thinking of eating chicken wings. I'm gonna stick to my beef. But I'm going to get some cottage cheese. Oh, Kroger, when I was in Memphis, they had the best large curd cottage cheese I've ever had in my life. But I will at least pick up my great value. Where the hell is it? Everything's so different here. Cottage cheese. Great value, large curd, 262. I think it's only like 230 something in Sanford, but I'm getting it. The milk is 374 here, just like in Sanford. And the reason, oh my god, my voice, the reason I had to go to the uh, rehab is because oh, beef jerky prices we'll stop here and check that out um, I needed to pick up some paperwork that was left for me yesterday so I thought I'd go do that today okay I'm gonna look at the beef jerky I have a beef jerky recipe update for you at the end of this video so please watch it all look at this 10 ounce bag 9.94 99 cents per ounce, so let's just, you know, round that up to a dollar per ounce. That's 16 bucks a pound for that shit. That's why I make my own. And this is even more per ounce, so we're over 16 bucks a pound. I had no clue jerky was that expensive. Wow. Outrageous prices. It looks like 99.4 is about, oh no, 95.4 is about the cheapest per ounce that you can get. Now, of course, they are weighing that dried already, but still, a pound of beef. I'm going to have to see, like, how much a pound of beef weighs after it's dried. I have some in the oven as I speak. Three days in a row I've made jerky. I'm addicted, and yes, I've been eating it all as I go. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, cough medicine. Oh, I feel horrible, and I'm getting worse quicker. And I bet you it's because, I'll tell you why, I don't get sick because I rarely am around people. And I just traveled and I've been at a rehab with, I don't know, not that they're sick people, but it's a lot of people that I've been in contact with. All right, I gotta find like the pharmacy section, I guess. I don't know where I am, I hate this. I'm opting for the daytime as much as I want to take the nighttime. I want to be able to take some and not be groggy all day. And I'll just use my Benadryl for nighttime. But I need to find some Equate Alka Seltzer. I found it, but they don't have the Equate, so fuck them. I don't know if I've got any at home, but I just want to go home. So I'm going to go cash out. And I'm just going to say bye to you. This was just a little quickie that I didn't expect to record at all. But I always have my camera with me. I'm so preoccupied looking at other things as I'm walking. So uh, that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. I'm home now. And I just wanted to tell you that the jerky I made today came out awesome. So I want to give you a couple of more tips that I've learned along the way. First of all, I used steak this time, and I'm going to show you how I cut it, and then I'll, let me just show you that first. I have a piece cut already, because I was testing this knife. What I do, see, I prefer steaks to the roast, because you get, like, jerky shape. I just cut at an angle, and it makes it so nice and tender, 
And if it's too long, if you think it's going to hang, well, you can always cut it and then make smaller pieces. And uh, the more at an angle you can get it, the more tender your jerky is going to be. So that's what I did today. I've made a batch every day, three days in a row. And you can leave the fat on if you want. When I did the roast, that was a big piece of fat. So I just didn't want that on there and in the way. But like this has some fat. I leave it. I love fat. So that's what I did. Then what I did is I wanted to test to see when we marinate it if you actually have to soak it on the paper towels. The less steps for me, the better. So all I had was the Worcestershire sauce, or however that's pronounced, and I used that. I uh, did the same that I did before. I just dipped every piece of meat into a little bowl of the sauce so I could at least get everything wet. Put it all in a container. I marinated it for one hour in the refrigerator, and then I did not dry it off on a paper towel. I just took each piece and I just worked on my cookie sheet so it would drip. I put the skewer through and I left these wet and I just put them in the oven 175 degrees for four hours. And look, I mean to me they're perfect. They do continue to dry a little bit. I will be eating this tonight. And see I like it when it's still a little bit bendable like that. But look at that nice jerky I got. You know, and that's a lot. Let me look and see how much I paid for this. When I was recording, I looked at the wrong meat package, so I'm updating with the correct info. Uh, that was a bottom round steak. It was just a hair over a pound. It was $2.99 per pound. I paid $3.12, and that dehydrated to just a little over seven ounces. So I got like over seven ounces of jerky for $3.12, which is way cheaper than what we were seeing in the store. And I got a lot of jerky. Eh, okay. pretty good, huh? So I just want to let you know, you can just slice it like I did. And you know, you can see this I sliced more at an angle. You don't have to slice that much at an angle. You can just, you know, slice like that. And you can slice it the whole piece like this if you want. And, or you can go like that. I like this size, this length, because it doesn't um, uh, touch the pan when that it's dripping into. Whatever. You do whatever you want. Slice, marinate for an hour. Don't bother drying it. Just put it on the skewer. Hang it like I did in the previous video, which I will link down below to and also on the end screen. Four hours! And it's awesome. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!